Hey everybody, welcome back to the program. This time around I'll be showing you how to store your vinyl record. Now, this may be basic knowledge for a lot of you, but for some of you out there, you may not know where to begin and what your options are. And this will be specific to how I like to store my vinyl records, but I will show you other options that are available to you. Depending on your situation, you may find that works out better. Another thing I wanna note is that a lot of the different products I'll be talking about applies to 45s, 10 inches, 78s, although I will say with 78s, you always want to store them in acid-free, heavy cardstock type paper. If you go to any storage site, they'll tell you which ones you need to pick up. Just because of the brittle nature of 78s, you don't really want to store them in plastic. Regardless of 78s, 10 inches, 7 inches, 12 inches, all of the same techniques will be applied to all of them. Practically universal. There are a few exceptions here and there. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to be talking about 12 inch vinyl LPs because that's what most people collect these days and a lot of the products are geared towards 12 inch records. Now before you get started, the first thing you got to do is clean the vinyl record and the LP cover itself. You want to make sure both of those are clean before you put them in new storage products. And the other thing you want to do is get rid of these funky paper sleeves that the original records came in. Okay, because uh, who knows what kind of dirt, mildew, little tiny rocks, little bugs that are hiding in these paper sleeves. It's musty for a reason. Okay, with all that out of the way, now your records are clean, the LP covers are clean. We're going to start with storing the vinyl record itself. How do we do that? Well, there are several options. The cheapest option by far is paper. Now, there's several different styles you can choose from. This is your basic square corners. This is a rounded corner. I prefer this style. It doesn't get as bunched up. And there is also what I like to call a Euro style, which is sort of a hybrid between a rounded corner and a 90 degree corner type. And they come in different styles, different thicknesses, different colors. It's all up to you. However, I will say that for your more valuable records, I would avoid paper because it has a tendency to cause scuffing when you take the record in and out. It also doesn't protect against static buildup. So the next thing, it's like a poly line sleeve. So basically they take a regular paper sleeve and then they line it with some sort of like a polyethylene or a, I'm not sure what kind of exact plastic this is, but it does help protect your record from scuffing and impossibly static. It depends who makes it. But again, you have many different styles. They tend to either come in this square edge or in this Euro style edge. And they do come in different colors. Some of the nicer pressings that you'll pick up do come in these. And I, I like these and I do keep my records in these when I do get them. Another style that's out there is kind of just like a plastic sleeve. Now this is way better plastic than the stuff they used back in the 50s, which actually with leach onto the vinyl. This doesn't do that. I don't like these as much and it's kind of a hang up. I really don't have any scientific basis as to why I don't like these as much, but this edge does kind of leave me uneasy as you're taking the record in and out. Okay, so the last sort of product that's, that's out there is mimicking a style of record sleeves that came from Japan. They call them rice paper sleeves. And this is the kind of sleeve you'll find if you ever bought an original master recording, the MoFi releases. They all come in something like this, where it's essentially a pocketed sleeve with some acid-free paper on the inside to give it some rigidity. These come in many different styles. I've seen kind that have two pieces of paper with holes cut out so you can read the labels. I've seen this kind, which is very popular. I prefer these, especially for more valuable records. It protects from scuffing, any sort of static buildup, but of course these are more expensive. So next we're going to talk about protecting the outside of your record, the record sleeve. And as you can see here, it wasn't so fortunate. It had a long life unprotected and it caused ring wear. Now this isn't as bad as I've seen some records, but the plastic not only protects against ring wear, protects against moisture, protects against just dirt and grime in general, and it helps keep the record cover in nice condition. So now we're gonna talk about all the plastic and I have a bunch of examples here. For the most part, there, there's several different materials. There's polyvinyl, which I don't recommend. Then there's polypropylene, then polyethylene, and then high density polyethylene, and finally mylar. And it also comes in different thicknesses. Now we have here 1.5 mil, which is very thin. I don't really recommend this unless you're just gonna, unless you're a seller and you're just trying to find the cheapest you can. And then you have three, which is a lot better. 
and then you have four, and finally you have six here, which I prefer for my more collectible albums. For my less collectible albums, I'll use a four or a three, depending on the price and where I get it. And by the way, these are all polyethylene. I'm not sure if they're high density or low density, but they're all polyethylene, which is your, your most common type of plastic, and that's what I recommend. This is polyester or mylar, and this is very expensive, but it's museum grade quality. It's very clear, as you can see. It's a lot clearer than the polyethylene. If you can afford it, you may wanna look into polyester. So in addition to all of those items, we also have what's called like a snug fit versus more of a loose fit. And that's for like a single LP. This is snug fit. As you can see, it fits the record very well. Now I have the same record. I know it's a different cover, but it's the same size record. And you can see there's a lot more of an edge here. There's more play. And that is a looser fit that's perfect for a double LP gatefold. Or if you have several records and materials, you wanna do something like that. So when you go to buy your record sleeves, pay attention to the dimensions because sometimes they'll be 12 and three quarters or they could be as much as 13 by 13. And they also make these sleeves for box sets and whatnot. So you really have to do some research in terms of what you need for what you have. One last thing to note, you can get sleeves that have a flap. Now this particular sleeve, doesn't have any sort of adhesive material. You would simply put the record in here and then fold it over and then with some tape, tape it up yourself. Or you can buy sleeves. Now this feels like a polyvinyl or something. Maybe, maybe it is a polyester. I'm not really sure what kind of material this is. It's a different material. But this one actually comes with an adhesive strip that you pull this off, put the record in, seal it up. Now the reason you may want to do this is um, say you're a store and that's just how you like to do that. You're shipping overseas and you're worried about full protection. Or you're going to be doing a long-term storage and you just want to give your records the most protection possible. And this is really going to prevent most accidents. Water is going to have a hard time getting in there. Of course, if it's a flood, I don't know what you can do about that. So uh, it's the next best thing to fully shrink wrapping your album is to get some with flaps. Okay guys, so now you have all your materials that you want. How do you put this all together? Now what a lot of people do, and I'm not going to fault them for this, is they'll put their the record back in the original sleeve like this. I don't like to do that. I prefer to do it a different way. One of the reasons why I do that on older records, and that's just because the way they were made, it was literally two pieces of cardboard with a thin strip. And so every time you pull that record in and out, if you're not careful, you can kind of saw your way through this and make it worse. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I do this. I take the cover, I put it in my sleeve. Now this is a six mil sleeve polyethylene. I'm gonna put it in like that. Right, And then I take any extra materials. Sometimes I'll leave it in the sleeve, but a lot of times I don't. And so I take the picture sleeve and I put it in the back. And then I take the record and it's in this nice sleeve. Notice the openings at the top here. And I actually put it in sideways like this. And now it's all together. Now the one drawback to doing it this way, while it does protect everything, if you want to flip it over and read the track names, you can't. You got to take everything back out. And the reason I, I put it sideways, there's a small part of me that's very paranoid and having this open like that, I'm worried like a little bit of dust or rocks can get in both somehow. So just as an extra piece of protection, I spin it sideways. And then there you go. So now with that all taken care of, your records are protected, you wanna store them, you really wanna find a bookshelf that has little cubbies, either square or a little rectangle, and you wanna avoid anything that has a large expanse between two supports. You could kinda of split the middle, but still you're putting a lot of pressure on the records that are closest to the supports. You also wanna store them in a place that stays relatively stable, relatively cool. So if you have a basement, that's a nice place to put them, just make sure they're off the ground in case of flooding. And finally, I probably don't need to mention this, but I should anyway, you don't want to store your records like that, one on top of each other. It can create a lot of issues down the road. It's okay as a temporary thing, like you're reorganizing a stack, but you don't want to do long-term storage this way because especially if you didn't clean them well, little tiny rocks and things and dust can get embedded into the grooves of the vinyl. And, not on, and on top of that, all that extra pressure. And if, if there's high heat, oh, it's just, it's just bad news altogether. Now, if you're gonna do a long-term storage solution, there are options for you. And and you can get these kind of banker-esque boxes. And these are great because they look like that, but they're made 
to fit LPs. And they also make it for 10 inches and seven inches. And this particular one is a, is a plastic corrugated, but you can also get cardboard. And it's great, you can just put your records in here. It's got handles, you can lift it up. And what's cool is that uh, this particular model is made by Bags Unlimited, and they also create a shelf where you can stack up to four of these on top of each other and be able to pull them in and out without having to move the whole stack just to get to the one on the bottom, which I think is pretty cool. So if you're low on space or you don't want to invest in a bookshelf, this is another way to go. As your collection builds, these can build with it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know how you guys store your records. I'm always curious to read that. Until then, I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side.